But Todd, you want to help them? I'll help these guys. How does Steve manage to get it in there? I don't, I don't know how I can do this on Facebook Live at the same time. Yeah. I don't want you to or set it here, like we here. could transfer to here, then get the chair on. And then center the chair back. Okay, that's even so good. Put her on the floor? No, no. Center the right here. Can you just keep that on uh, Facebook Live and so it's live? <laughs> <laughs> so, if I may, we have maybe somebody on the shoulder, somebody on the shoulder, somebody on the legs, okay, and then somebody pulling the chair. Situation like this, a oh, leg wrap would really help. Also use that yeah, because what's that? And a leg in situation like this. We're going to have to do leg wrap. Help. Like there, it's going to hurt. No, no, tighten up the leg ones first. Stand up again. You're all about that chair. Yeah. Anyway, we have a person who's going to be doing the neck. Yeah, I can't do all that. Get on it, Jeff. Yeah. No. Really? You're telling me I'm tightening this up somewhere? Yeah. Get on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're just going to put it on the chair and somebody else has to have the leg. All right. One on the shoulder, one on the shoulder, one on the chair, one on the leg. So, are you, do you want to do the chair? Or do you want to okay. do the shoulder? Okay. You guys are the team. You got shoulder, shoulder, leg. Jeremy, you may want to grab right here. Uh, it's your wife. <laughs> so in that's the case, we're going to pivot around. I'm going to come this way. You're coming right here. Gonna rotate. One left, two rotate, three set it down. Is it locked or unlocked? It's unlocked on the set. Okay. Everyone ready? Everybody ready? One, two, three, lift. Hold your one hand. Rotate. I'm going to sit you up here. Set her down. Got you. That was great. Good lift. My butt's all the way to the back. 
should probably make sure that the range is not under the gun. What? <laughs> what does that matter? I think I tried to get it all going. <laughs> Well, any changes would you make? You know the one observation, Richard. Richard, you had the chair back here. Richard had the really neat over. It seemed like that was my Yeah, yeah, I was passing. So I think maybe just getting the chair closer. But you know what? That's refinement. That just that's the stuff that happens as you do this. You start talking to each other as you're doing. Couldn't work out any better, by the way. Great communication. And so, well, let's try this. Well, I think we should have done that. I like this point. That point. There is no absolute, so everybody's different based on you know body size. You know, you compare some big glute to some tiny person, it could be a big difference. So, but the air between ears makes it a lot yeah, lighter. A lot more. Air. So on your air here, there's no air in there. Other thoughts? Any ahas? Uh, the port side, they took the armrest off, it made it easier just to go straight out rather than lift. On this side, they have to lift, on the, on lift the, yeah, over on the, the This one they slid under, this one they came over. Right. right. And we slid off the side of the chair straight onto the boat. Right. And then brought the wheelchair back onto the boat and slid back into the chair. This way. And then put the armrest back Which was on. easier for me, grabbing the back, to spin around because then they were on the sides tucking her in. And she would, we actually got... The butt, all the way, all the way to the back of the chair. <coughs> the chair. Yeah. And what so about taking what's both oh. armrests off? So your hands can get down in there, you know, when you're lifting the harness oh, yeah, down in here. Yeah. If both armrests are off, you got more room to right. work with there. And, and again, if the person can help, like you, like you pointed out with David, yeah. David doesn't want to be yarded around. I don't want to be yarded around. I want to do everything I can possibly do to take care of myself. Most do. That, as as Most should be, do. right? Yeah. I mean, we're st isn't that what we're striving for? Our whole goal here is to get somebody scuba diving. Why? To strive for independence. That's the goal. The goal is not to strive for more dependence, but to get people in the water because it's the great equalizer. Then people can get underwater. Maybe we drive them underwater because of their level, or maybe we don't drive them. My goal is always to let go, to get underwater and find out what they can do functionally by themselves. And, and if it simply means dialing somebody's buoyancy in, we have a young man named Gary. He's been injured since he was a little guy. He's now probably 40. Uh, Gary is a C5 quad, so he doesn't have a lot of arm, but he's, he's got this. And I'm telling you what, you put Gary underwater and you get him dialed in on his buoyancy. By the way, he can, he does amazing stuff. He's like a super quad. And he'll get down there and he doesn't want you to hold it. And he's doing this through the water. And so he's using what muscles he has to propel himself through the water. See, in that thinking outside the box, we're all conditioned to think these, not these, or if we use these, oh, yeah, you know what, that's not good to you use your arms. Well, that's their legs. And then maybe it's one arm. Try this. You guys, when you're diving, next time you're diving, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to do at least half of a dive without fins on. A dive here in the ocean, Catalina Island, somewhere, I want you to take your buddies, take your fins off and hand them to your buddy. And I want you to try for half a dive, a quarter of the dive. That'll be easy. A quarter of the dive just to use your arms. Do it. You will be exhausted. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. You will have a new sense of what it's like. We have a young lady. She's a C7 quad out of Kansas, Amanda, who has dove with us for years now. She and her husband, or she and her father and family were in the same accident. Both she and her dad became C7 quad. Same exact injury in the accident. Wow. That's a shitty day. An auto accident? Shitty day. On a broadside oh body. Yeah. Rolled the van, crushed the top, became C7 quad. Complete. And so, underwater, it's like an ever-ready battery moment. As soon as she touches the water, her arms start going. <laughs> and Amanda, for the entire dive, is pulling and pushing, pulling and pushing. I don't know how she does it. And I mean, she's not some big strapping gal. She is a average individual, but her shoulder girdle muscles have so evolved, are so toned, that that's what she can do. And God, she loves diving. And, and while I'm on that topic of underwater and diving, we're taught this, aren't we? Please don't tell your people with disabilities they have to do this. This may be normal for them, because their lower body sinks. 
So you shouldn't be striving for perfect trim. This is normal. If you're a quadriplegic, many quads have had neck surgery in that process have had a fusion done. So they can't do that or that. They do this type of thing when they move in the water. So to, to see where you're going, they don't want to look down, trimmed out, looking at the bottom of the ocean all the time. They want to look up. I do. You do. So this, now this isn't ideal, because now you're pushing a lot of water, or you're being pushed by a lot of water if there's a current. So positioning. But I challenge you, I challenge you to do a part of a dive without any fence from the start till you decide to switch with your buddy. You're gonna learn how to pace yourself. You're gonna learn how to do a proper pull instead of this. It's like a flutter kick versus nice wide kick. It's the same difference. And then the last challenge is to do a part of the dive without your fins on and with one arm tucked under a BCD strap. One arm. You can do it. It's really hard work yeah, to do it because you're still. We found out in uh, Hawaii, one arm swimming. He was exhausted on that. David pulling had, a had tent. To hold something and figure out a whole new way of swimming because he was used to doing this. David figured that out on his own. So there's your challenge. Next time you head out to Catalina or out here or whatever, 